Good evening, good evening, good evening. It is Tuesday, it's the 19th of November 2013. Very nearly a month to Christmas. Where's all that about? You got any presents yet? I've got nothing, absolutely nothing. No paper, no nothing. I'll do it all, I don't know, a week before, as I normally do. <laughs> we have got some good stuff coming up today. We're going to be looking in part one and a bit in part two at the iTaste VTR. I'm going to talk very briefly about these here. And then this, that you can just see a little bit of, I might tease you a little bit longer and uh, show you that later on. Or I might leave it till next week. I don't know. But all that, <laughs> all that is going to come up after the titles, which are coming at you right now. Vapor Scene is proudly sponsored by Health e Vape, UK purveyor of e cigarettes and e liquid. Yes, it's Tuesday. It's that time of the week again when I am here. Hello. How are we all? I hope you are all fine and I hope you're all warm because as I was saying in uh, pre-chat there, or pre-live in chat, um, <laughs> it's getting really cold, isn't it? And there's snow coming and I know there was snow up in the northeast and up in Scotland today. And I'm in Scotland tomorrow until Friday uh, and I believe it's going to be snowing tomorrow. So it should be good fun. Tin of spam in the back of the car, sleeping bag, AA shovel. <laughs> I don't usually put it in the back. Oh, Kendo mint cake. Yeah, can't forget the Kendo mint cake, just in case you get stuck somewhere. Um, or in case you're a little bit hungry on the way home. <laughs> uh, but yes, driving up to Scotland again tomorrow. Um, today we're going to be looking at the, uh, the VTR. Uh, and we're going to be looking at these here. Uh, and those there, um, are to do with the Magoo because after last week's re-wicking video I got a nice message from Mark Hughes on Facebook uh, and he suggested I look here at Stealth Vape because they were selling some non-resistance and resistance pre-made wires. So um, yes, Thursday morning, uh, Wednesday morning I should say, uh, I made a little uh, purchase and I bought them um, and they are, they're here got 50 in the bag for the £3.60, so about, you know, 6p or something each. Uh, and I re-wicked the Magoo yet again, um, dual coil again. Uh, and this time it went from 2.4 ohms down to just under, so about 0.9 something. Um, and the only thing I can get it to work on now <laughs> is the MVP. Uh, it won't work on anything else. Um, but I shall continue. I've already made another wick. Uh, with just one wire and the wires are 2.4 ohms on their own so I'm going to just vape off what's in here, re-wick it again. I'll get it right eventually uh, and I'll let you know how I get on um, but these things are sent to triers aren't they? <laughs> it's almost as, uh, almost as painful as uh, doing the Genesis mods um, <laughs> but I might try one of those wires on the Jenny actually and uh, see what happens with that. Um, News-wise, I was scouting around Twitter, as I normally do on show day and the rest of the time, but I try to get the newest stories for you rather than the older ones. And I came across this tweet from um, Flaming Katie, who had retweeted uh, Kate Narkibeast's tweet. Uh, and it was in relation to this story. Uh, Germany law, e-cigarettes are not medicinal products. And this goes back to a ruling in September uh, that the German courts made. And there'd been a few people, a few companies that had challenged certain um, rulings. So if we go to the second page, if I flick on my screen as well, uh, there was uh, one there, case two, unauthorised distribution. Uh, and a producer of e-liquids had sued for an injunction, uh, which was granted. Um, case three, medicinal products, uh, the court 
ruled in the in the uh, producer's favour for that as well. And the very bottom, the court applied these factors uh, and came to the conclusion that as liquids containing nicotine do not have therapeutic effect, they are not medicinal products. I would suggest you go and look at the whole article rather than uh, me read it all out to you because uh, it is rather interesting uh, and um, it would be interesting to see what happens in other European countries as well um, and will that affect anything that's going to go on in the UK? I don't know. Uh, on the UK bit, um, my MP Dan Jarvis who I saw on the 25th of October, um, I said uh, he was going to give me some questions ask some questions, parliamentary questions. Uh, he wrote to me this week and he will be doing that uh, very shortly and I've subscribed to his news feeds on theyworkforyou.com so as soon as they get posted I will bring them to you uh, and uh, bring you the answers from Jenny Ellison as well and uh, see what happens there. Um, very interesting stuff. He's also raised the issue of super fast broadband in the Barnsley area because uh, I'm having issues. As you all know, my upload speed is absolutely atrocious. Uh, and uh, yes, he's raising that with the local authority on my behalf. So you never know, it might help, it might not, but at least he's doing something for me, which is really good. I have to give him a lot of credit, Dan Jarvis, because uh, every time I've spoken to him, he's done exactly what he said. So uh, if your MP doesn't do that, get down to their surgery and give him a kick in. Um, I'm just fortunate, I guess, that Dan Jarvis listens to what I have to say and acts on what I say uh, and uh, doesn't blind me with BS uh, and fob me off he does what he says. So uh, all credit to Dan on that one. Right, now then, let's look at uh, this. Yes, so the VTR. Now I've had this for some time, I have to say. I've had it since I came back from Mexico uh, and I've been planning and planning and planning to do a vid on it. Um, Dave had it on his show uh, early October, so I thought I'd leave it a little while. Um, so um, I've been playing around, as you do, uh, and I've done some bid. So um, here it is. Hope you enjoy, and I'll see you in a minute. And here we have it. The iTaste VTR uh, came in from UK eSig Store, as you can see on the box, all branded up for UK eSig Store. Currently retailing at £89.99, uh, and there is an option there for an AW IMR 18650 2000 mAh battery for an extra £13 and 2p. Um, so I'll take it to just over 100 squids. Um, let's have a look at what is in this box. So from one box to another, and you get this lovely case to keep it in. Very solid case, I have to say. Um, let's flick it open and you will see inside a few things. There is a multi-language user manual, which is very good. You've got the uh, Wii instructions for disposable uh, disposing of batteries. You get a little card there which tells you how to fill your iClear 10 or your iClear 16. You don't get one of those in this kit, you get something else, but more about that later. Uh, and here we have the iTaste VTR and the addition here, which I will show you in a minute. So let's take it all out of the box and look at each of the items. This is what you get in the box, apart from, of course, the instruction manual. Uh, you get your iTaste VTR. You get a iClear 30S which is a polycarbonate tank, it's not Pyrex, it's polycarbonate. And you also get this little adapter, which fits in here, in there, uh, which then allows you to use other devices and not just tanks that will fit in the iTaste VTR. So let's have a look more in detail at this VTR. It is very shiny, <laughs> but it's also a real fingerprint magnet. Um, you would not believe I've cleaned this so many times already. Uh, it is very, very heavy. And it's actually too heavy for my normal little scales. Here are my kitchen scales. Um, and we're going to put this on. And it weighs 279 grams. And in old money, 
that's 9.8 ounces so just a smidgen under two ounces over half a pound that's without a battery now with the battery and i have the trusty panasonic with me uh, the battery goes into the bottom where you just pull this little clip and the battery compartment opens and it's difficult to do when you're trying to show it on camera there we go so the battery compartment is there goes in positive side first and there you have your battery installed and then simply push and click so we'll go back to grams with the battery installed 323 grams or 11.4 ounces and that's of course before you add that on top so let's just add that on so 13.1 ounces or 372 grams there you are that's how much it weighs and um, we'll just put these to one side and there you have your fire button and on off and it's the same thing with all of the Inikin devices these days three clicks on three clicks off and you get the green for good amber for going out and red for you're going to run out of power soon press your button and it goes green this is a fully charged battery and you'll see there the display and it's telling us there's nothing on it so we'll just put the uh, 30s in and it simply slots through the hole and then you just twist it and you're probably wondering what this ring here is for and that is for tightening it up and also to allow you to get the air hole in the right place when you're using a rebuildable so if we push the button on the top and this button is to change settings it will tell you your resistance and it will also cycle between power mode which is verbal wattage and voltage mode and then you simply turn the dial to change that and we'll just look at that now so it doesn't uh, shine back at you push the button on the top and that will tell you your resistance and it's saying it's 2.2 ohms and we're currently on power and it goes from 3 watts all the way up to 15 watts and then it doesn't cycle round let's just get that into shot it doesn't cycle round like other devices it, you turn the, the dial one way and then the other so it goes from 15 watts all the way down to 3 watts with the variable voltage press it again you get the little V or the U and that goes from 3 volts and it goes all the way up to 6 so it's 3 volts to 6 volts or 3 watts to 15 watts and then it's simply a case of pushing your fire button in order to vape on it obviously there's nothing in here at the moment uh, we'll put some juice in this very shortly but before I do let me show you the other device and this is rather nifty because I didn't see this when I first saw the pre-production model at Vapefest this wasn't around then and this fits in into the little receptacle hole there and that gives you a completely different look let me just zoom out a little bit there we go stands a little prouder and then that allows you to use other devices um, and if I put the Magoo on let's see what it makes of the Magoo because there's only one device at the moment that I can use the rewit Magoo on and as I said earlier on I rewicked this using some um, other wire so it's now got resistance and no resistance wire and uh, there we are we've got it on there and it's telling me it's got resistance of one ohm which is correct because <laughs> it has and we'll just simply press our fire button and I have vapor I probably wouldn't use them to go on this um, to be fair but we shall see let's try something else on it I have another eye clear now this is uh, 
an iClear 30, not an iClear 30S. So we'll put that on the top and then we can also see if it fits in the other hole. As you can see there, it fits on quite nicely uh, and it's given me a resistance of 2.2 ohms, which is correct. And that is performing rather nicely. If I just change this and put it on what I was vaping it on, which uh, is 11 watts on the display. And that's rather nice, I have to say. So, you can as well take off that ring for cleaning and such like, and also for putting devices that are ego threaded on that maybe won't fit um, with the beautification ring. And then we just take this off. It's got rather nice knurled effect on the top and bottom. And I'm dripping juice all over the place now. There we go. We'll just take that out for a second and we'll put in the iClear 30. So you don't need to use the iClear 30, yes, you can use any of the iClears, they all fit in. Uh, and that actually gives you a uh, half decent size on the top. So it's not too sticky outy. Let's try that again. Very good. I like the feel of this in my hand. It's a nice big mod for a nice big hand, I have to say. If you've got little tiny hands, um, you may find it difficult, possibly, holding it like that, but you should better hold it a different way. Um, I love the weight of it as well. It is so nice. It's almost it's very, nearly, uh, <laughs> very nearly a weapon if someone comes and tries to mug you, and if you're vaping and you hit them with it, oh my god, I'm not sure who would come off worse, the mugger or the uh, device, probably the mugger, because this is built unbelievably well, it is just beautiful. Um, it's a bit of a fingerprint magnet, like I've said, um, and it will scratch quite easily, and there are little bits on here that where the plating doesn't look as cracking um, as it could, but that aside, oh my god, it is a cracking, cracking device. Obviously, I've been using it before I've done this, so this isn't the first time I've used it. I like to use a device for a little while before I um, tell you about it, so I know what I'm talking about, uh, and uh, I can give you an honest opinion. Uh, and um, this is cracking. So, that's part one. That's the iTaste VTR. In part two, we're going to be looking at the iClear 30S. Uh, and we'll fill it up and put it on the VTR. So for the minute, it's back to the studio. And it is indeed back to me. And I'll just turn that off. There we go. <laughs> I was listening away there. Um, and I realised after I'd filmed that and I was editing it all up that uh, when I put the Magoo on, I left it at 3 volts and it wasn't going to do much at 3 volts, was it? <laughs> but there you go. But I do like the Magoo better. On a tube mod, it just looks nicer. Um, that's why I was saying it. I wouldn't probably use that on, on the VTR. Um, but let me just very quickly give you a comparison in size because VTR MVP, and it is, you know, quite a, li quite a bit wider. Um, so if you do have small hands, you might struggle with that. Um, but uh, I love it. I love being vaping on it when, <laughs> when I was watching, uh, watching that back. Um, We'll look at the uh, iClear 30S in part two, uh, which is going to come up after the ads, which I'm going to find right now. Here they are. So uh, I'll see you in two minutes. Vapor Scene is proudly sponsored by Health Evape, UK purveyor of e-cigarettes and e-liquid. Iveber and Iveber Elixir.
Now it's back to Vapor Scene on Vapor Trails TV. Vapor Scene is proudly sponsored by Health e Vape, UK purveyor of e cigarettes and e liquid. And indeed, welcome back to part two and we're going to go straight into uh, the iGlia 30S uh, and then um, I'll give you some more thoughts. See you in a minute. And we're back with the uh, iGlia 30S uh, which came with the VTR. As you can see it's another excellent example uh, of uh, an iGlia from Inokin. Um, let's take this silicon cap off the top The usual metal tip that you can move around, um, which is very, very handy. The hole isn't terribly huge, so uh, airflow shouldn't be too airy. Um, some of them I've found the air hole has been quite big, or the mouthpiece hole has been quite big, um, and you get too much air. It's nice to be able to vary that. Um, the inside is replaceable and I'll show you how to do that. If you unscrew the bottom section like so, you can then pull this out. There we go. Uh, you can pull that out and you can swap it for a new one. I'm not sure whether you can rebuild them or not. And I'm not going to take this one apart just yet. I'll wait till it dies. Um, little silicon in the end there which uh, goes into the top of the device to stop any leaks. Um, so when this does go, I'll see if it's possible to do it. This has got the atomizer resistance on it, and it's telling me 2 ohms, which it's saying on the display. So to replace it, you'll see that that has got lines on it. You just line up the lines and push it home. And there we go, that's now installed. And then simply a case of screwing in the bottom section. And there you are. You'll see there's a, a little groove in there for air. Um, there is air getting to the air holes down the bottom. Filling it is like any other one, so easy. Unscrew the top section. And this is polycarbonate, it's not Pyrex, which is a shame. Um, but there you go. I need to make sure I don't put anything that's going to destroy polycarbonate. Uh, what I've got actually, I've got some uh, e -Sig Zoo Red USA Mix, which is 26 milligram. Um, yeah, this is one of the uh, famous vape fest juices. I'm working my way through them slowly. Um, so we'll just put some of this in. I've not tried this before either, so it'll be a first. Uh, usual affair, down the side, squirty squirty until you get to the fill level of your choice. I'm going to take it all the way up to the top, uh, which is 
three mils and we'll just put those back on so there you go that's full make sure I don't cross thread that because that would be an absolute disaster right that is now soaking in quite nicely I'll leave it for a few minutes and then uh, we'll put it back on the VTR back in the studio and uh, we'll see what it vapes like and I'll see if I like this juice see you in a minute and we're back and did you notice my hands were shaking there <laughs> I'd been vaping on this e 6 26 milligram um, and that's what I've got still in it uh, and I've been vaping on it uh, and I think 24 is my kind of limit because I've really been getting the uh, the nick rushes on this 26 so uh, I think I might just put a little bit of VG in that and just mix it down a little bit um, and then I can you know vape lots as opposed to only vaping a little bit um, but yes um, it vapes absolutely wonderfully really really nice uh, and I found the inserts on a well-known Chinese website which I ordered today and they'll be here in a couple of weeks so I'll see what they're like um, and as they were cheap I might take one apart and see how it's uh, actually put together uh, and bring you that um, but yes it's a cracking device and by the way I do not in any way condone the use of an e-cig as a weapon if you get mugged <laughs> let's put it out there however <laughs> if someone tries to mug me well I've got this in my hand woe betide them because it's up very nearly a pound in weight um, and it is very heavy uh, but I like it a lot it's a really nice device um, and I've been using it quite a lot as you do I'm sure I'm going to wear away the plating uh, <laughs> but there you go next week next week I gave a little tease earlier but I'll show you the full thing there we go next week I have the cross which is a variable voltage pipe mod uh, and it comes with an extra tube so it's 18350 and with the extra tube on it's 18650 and it's variable voltage so um, I shall bring you that on next week's show yes now then I'm getting close to my time so I think we better go into this week's show as yours gallery and uh, we can find out who's won see you in a minute and now it's time for show as yours sponsored by Flavor Art UK <laughs> Thank you. 
Show Us Yours. And now it's time for Show Us Yours, sponsored by Flavor Art UK. Show is yours. Sponsored by Flavor Art UK. Yes, indeed, that was this week's show is yours. Rudely interrupted by a power outage in my street. But there you go. I must look out and see if everyone else is back. Uh, once I've put together the bits of this video uh, to upload. <laughs> uh, it's not our week this week, is it? Never mind. So let's see who won this week. It is Russell Perberdi, if I've said that right. Um, and if I'm correct, if I start my um, Excel again, which is where my uh, running order is, um, my notes are there and it tells me what it is that he's got. Um, it is a snake. <laughs> uh, it's a Western hognose snake. There you go. That was in a picture. It's uh, a a Russell's Western Hognose Snake. Uh, so we've had parrots and now we've had a snake. Who else has got an animal <laughs> they can put a mod with and send it in to this email, vaporscene at vaporchars.tv by Tuesday noon and you get into the mix uh, to possibly win a bottle of juice courtesy of John over at Flavor UK. So there you go, that was the winner this week. Will you be the winner next week? Only one way to find out, isn't there? That's tune in at nine o'clock, as long as I've got power. <laughs> and as long as you've sent a picture in. Um, so there you go. That was eventually Vapor Scene on uh, Tuesday the 19th of November. 
Uh, and don't forget to tune in tomorrow night for VT Talk with Dave and Sav. I know he's got some guests lined up, but there's no confirmation as yet, so I won't tell you who they are. Um, but tune in at 9 o'clock and you will find out. Dave is back again on Thursday with the Hayes Hour. Uh, Sunday, it's Dave's Tackle Box with Mr. Dave Kitson. Monday, hopefully, fingers crossed, the boys will be back with Tin Your Tip. And I will be here next Tuesday, as long as no one gets snowed in in Scotland this week. Oh, dear me. So, until then, my friends, have a good week. I'll see you soon. Tatty bye. is proudly sponsored by Health Evade, UK purveyor of e-cigarettes and e-liquid. <laughs>